Hey, what's going on everybody? Coop here. Um, and today I actually have a video where I played like an hour or something of the uh, of the new Call of Duty Modern Warfare beta that happened whatever last weekend. Um, and I had the <laughs> I tried to use my higher quality microphone for my PS4 because I was playing on the PS4 because I'm a scrub and that's what I wanted to do. I didn't feel like waiting a billion years for it to install on the PC, so I just did it on the PS4. And I was using my uh, um, like studio microphone that I use for music and stuff on like the stand and all this shit. And I was gonna cut it all down, but for whatever reason, it wouldn't sync properly. Like even when I lined it up, then one of them would end before the other. I think that the video recording for PS4 sometimes cuts out little sections, and I've noticed that before. Where like I'll take a clip, and like maybe like a second gets shaved off here or there, or all of a sudden it jumps for a second. And I don't know why it does that, but I guess in the whatever hour of footage that I had, it did that enough where it, it actually unsynchronized it, and it got so fucking annoying trying to synchronize it that it just fucking gave up. So, in the background of this audio that you're hearing right now is just one of the games. I'm not gonna bother breaking it down specifically to this game or the games I had before this or after this, whatever. This is just gonna be a general sort of my thoughts on the, the new Call of Duty game. And you can have some you know visuals in the background. So, firstly to start, for those of you that know me or, or have you know seen my shit before, you know that I have played a lot of the Call of Duties. Um, I, I have videos on this channel from from, I think, Black Ops 3, but for sure, World War 2, um, maybe some of the other ones, some zombie modes for sure with some buddies, and like, so I've played the games, but, like, as, as I was gonna say, if, if you followed the channel before, you know that I'm also pretty discontent with Call of Duty as a franchise, I've almost, like, given up on it at this point, they kind of just recycle shit, and they kind of just you know, same old, same old. But that brings us to uh, this game. So at first, when the trailers first dropped, sorry, I'm opening right here. Um, when the when the they first dropped trailers and stuff, it almost looked like they had taken the boots on the ground shit back, which is what we what a lot of the fans I think really wanted. They had all that wall runny stuff and all the crazy stuff going on with Black Ops and. But they were almost like Guardians from Destiny where they had like specials and supers and all this kind of crazy shit. And it kind of just seemed over the top. Like, we're, we're soldiers. It's a Call of Duty game. Like, we're boots on the ground shit. Bring us back. World War II did that, but because they brought it back to the World War II era, a lot of the guns and weapons and things were pretty limiting. So, I think they wanted to come back to the modern era, use modern weapons, but not have all that wall running bullshit. And I was like, yeah! And the trailers looked tactical legit like rainbow six arma level shit and again for those of you that uh, that aren't new to this channel or me you know that i i really enjoy that that heavy tactical thing i mean even rainbow six ends up having a little bit of run and gun shit but at least it's got like you know cover checking areas leans weapons that have actual ballistics things like that and then naturally arma is is arma so it does its thing and I really liked that. So I had all this hope. I was like, holy shit, this looks super dope. But I knew that it was just a cinematic trailer. And if you watched our episode of the Underclock Podcast, you'll know that I was kind of gushing over it at the point. I think that was the episode that GK Byrne was on the uh, show. And me and him were both like kind of gushing. And if you actually look, Viking is kind of giving the like, well, just wait, boys. And then we watched on the multiplayer, be uh, I think it was the alpha or the closed beta or whatever it was. And it looked very Call of Duty. A lot of just running around, running and gunning, bullshit spawns, all that kind of stuff. So, one thing that I did notice right away is that you can double sprint and you put your gun up and run. And that gave me some of that Arma vibe where the opposite, where like you can disarm. Or not disarm, but you can, you can, you know, put your gun down so you're not just aiming it forward all the time. It kind of gave me that vibe. But while I was playing, I ran into a problem with that. So, it's similar to um, some games while you're sprinting. And you hit a doorway, you'll like slam the door open. Dope, cool mechanic. The problem with that in Call of Duty is you're kind of always running, you're never really walking. So when you're doing that running mechanic and you hit a door, you slam right through it, which isn't always what you want. Sometimes you want to run right up to the door 
stop and then, you know, be a little more tactical. Well, I mean, I do, which is probably why I suck, because I don't just run and gun, but whatever. And you end up getting to the door, but when you stop, even if you stop ahead of the door, maybe this is just the beta and they're going to fix this, but even if you stop right before the door, you'll still shoulder the door open, and now you're standing in the open doorway, completely unmoving, and, and open for attack. And I just thought that was kind of fucking lame. But... That is my pre-thoughts, so let's go into the beta. I played it, I'm not gonna lie, I ended kind of frustrated just because of Call of Duty being Call of Duty. The first couple games that I played, I was just getting dunked on. Like, I think the first game I played, I got like two kills and just got fucking murked. Like, I just got bent over a desk and it was bad. Um, there was games, I think the one in the background right now I did okay in. Um, and it, and it does have that that Call of Duty satisfaction where you, you go in, get some kills, you're doing some shit, get some kill streaks, you're like, fuck yeah, I'm a fucking legend. But then it also, but then you run around a corner, three enemies spawn. There's actually a point, I don't know if it's in this game, and I'm recording this audio separately, so I don't know if it's coming up now or if it's already come up. But if it is in this game, there's a point where I'm standing in like the back of a, no, it's not in this game. No, it's not. I just checked the little clip. But um, I just, in I was standing in like a back, it almost looked like a backyard, and I was looking down a corridor just to like check a check an angle, and when I turned around, I watched two guys spawn. And it's not like in Destiny, like Destiny does, for example, have some sort of bullshit spawns, but sometimes when everyone's running around, it's hard to do that. But the thing in Destiny is they, they get an overshield when they spawn for like whatever two seconds, or like a second or whatever it is. So that even if you spawn right beside them, you can't just get fucking headshot and killed instantly. Call of Duty, on the other hand, does not have this feature. And I was standing in this backyard, and I pivoted like 90 degrees to my right. And I literally just went bang, 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 bang. And got like three kills. And I even said in the audio that's just fucking gone and I'm never going to bother syncing. I even said, like, that's bullshit. I would be pissed if I was them. Like, I'm, I'm angry for them. Like, it's got bullshit. Another thing that I ran into is um, the kill streaks. I know Call of Duty's thing is kill streaks and blah 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 blah. They reward you for doing well. Yeah, I get it. But there was a game. Um, actually, that might. Fuck, I don't know. I'm not looking at the clip. Anyways, in one of the games I was playing, someone got like a Harrier or something, and it just rips. Like, it, it just changed the tide of the game, which, again, I know is sort of the point. But, like, when I spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, spawn, die, I literally don't even take a step. What, it just, I, I again, in the auto they don't have, I think I literally, like, put down the controller and went, when do I get to play? Like, I know they did well, and there's that kind of shit. Now, it may sound like I'm shitting on it because I suck. And don't get me wrong, I'm not good. But I'm not complete fucking garbage. Like... If, if you've seen my channel before, you, you know that I can hold my own in just about any FPS. Um, the first couple games I got bent over a desk, but something big with Call of Duty, and this is fine, this isn't a gripe, this is a lot of FPS games. You need to know the maps really well. You could be the super proficient shooter, but if you don't know the angles and you're aiming down the west corridor and somebody just looks at you from the north and you don't even know that that's an angle, you're going to get killed. It's just that simple. So once I got the bearing, because the beta only had a couple maps, once I got the bearings, I started being able to pull shit out. Like even in in, in the game you're watching right now, I think I think it was at least positive. Like I I think I was like 18 and I don't know, like eight or six or something. I don't know. I did okay. It wasn't completely terrible, and most of the games ended up like this. Most of the games I had decent KD. I was in the top at least half of my team. But I was still frustrated. I was still, I still had the same problems that Call of Duty always gives, that frustration. Now, I watched a soup video, and it, it highlighted to me what the problem with Call of Duty is, is that because now they're doing the cross-play, cross-platform, the just pure toxic cancer of the Call of Duty community is insane. It's on full display, it's complete AIDS, and I, I just don't really want a part of it. Um, some of my buddies are going to be getting it and they're pretty stoked about it. Um, I told them that I would get it if they were still playing it by Christmas. And I just don't see it. I remember we were all really stoked about Black Ops 3. We maybe played for a month. I remember World War 2, we were super hardcore into it for maybe a month and a half, two months. And then I, me and one other guy were the only people playing it. And then we got frustrated and stopped playing it ourselves. So, 
the it's sort of the problem with these Call of Duty games is they're disposable. They come out every year, and the bullshit that's been happening since like like Modern Warfare Two is arguably the best Call of Duty game. I like I don't think it is. Personally, that's just a personal opinion. I like Modern Warfare One better. That's just my opinion. Whatever. Um, but that's arguably the best game. But I mean, I'm sure you guys remember like Noob Tubes. That's some bullshit. And and as much as they've nerfed that shit to the ground, there's still bullshit that can. I in my first game or second game, I was walking out of a, a hallway. Some guy literally spawned, looked up like fucking 45 degrees. Pitched a little bit to like his right, threw a grenade at a land in her spawn and got three kills. That's bullshit. So <laughs> that's me bitching for a bit. Um, if you like hearing my rant, you can uh, you know like and subscribe. If you see any else on the channel that like, you could throw a like on there as well. It really helps me out. I really do appreciate it. I know I just bitched about Call of Duty for like ten minutes, but it's my opinion. So uh, it's like whatever, man. It's your opinion, man.